Hey guys, today we're out on the range and we're going to be doing a little test on different calibers. The 9 is the FNS 9. This is my P320 in 357 SIG. And then this is the HK45 for the 45 ACP. So the guns are all relatively the same size. The 45 is a little bit bigger. But we're going to be using three different rounds. I've got 115 grain, 9 millimeter. I've got 125 grain, 357 SIG. And I've got 230 grain, 45 ACP. And what we're testing against is 30 pieces of quarter inch plywood. I've got them all stacked together. They're tied up against each other. There's no space in between the pieces of plywood. So I've got them all packed together in that little box right there. And we're going to shoot each one of the guns one time and see how well each one of the rounds penetrates that plywood. I'm thinking that probably the 357 SIG will go the furthest into the plywood, but I could be totally off base. Put down in the comments below what you think might happen and which one's going to work the best on penetrating that plywood. So we're about six yards or so from the target here, and we're going to start with the nine millimeter. I'm aiming for the bottom left corner of the target. A little bit of a hole there. Now let's see what happens with the 357 SIG. And all of these rounds are full metal jacket. There's no, no hollow points in it. I want them to, to be able to, to penetrate the most they can. Okay, that one's in the center of the target. Now let's do the 45. Get that in a little low. Okay, so this is the nine millimeter. This is 357 SIG and this is 45, so let's Start taking these pieces out. Well, I made the box a little tight. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take some of the ones out of the back here. It's 30 pieces of quarter inch plywood and I thought I had allowed enough space to get them out, but Evidently, it swelled a little bit overnight. It's 14 pieces there. 15. Oh, we have a winner. The 357 SIG has come through and made the dimple on the back side of that one. It made it through 14 layers and dented the 15th. There's the hole for the 357 SIG. And it's also the, the nine millimeter and the 45, both dented the same board there. But if we can catch the bullet before it falls out. It's right in here. There it is, right there, sticking out of the board. And for going through 14 layers of wood, really not to form that much. So the 115 grain, nine millimeter, and the 230 grain, 45, went about the same distance, or they did go the same distance, because the, the dent in the board is about the same on both calibers. So we'll see if we can actually find the bullet here. The nine, when it actually stopped, it <laughs> turned down into the, the plywood rather than going straight through. There's the, the head of it right there. So it's kind of angled down into the wood. 
And then the 45 is right here when it lost its momentum. It started turning a little bit as well. Let's push it on out. And again, surprisingly, for going through 12 pieces of wood, really not deformed that much. You can see the rifling on it, but the nose of the bullet uh, is surprisingly still round. Now the nine took the, took the most beating. There it is. So the, the nose is pretty messed up on, on it. See what it looks like there. A little flattened on that one side. And it uh, did kind of crush the nose on the, the nine millimeter. This was already a flat point on the front to begin with on the SIG, but it's kind of caved in a little bit. And then the, uh, the 230 grain, 45, yeah, still looks fairly normal. Was that surprising? Did you think that the 45 or the nine millimeter would go further? So check out doubleeaglegunworks.com. Like and subscribe down at the bottom, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.